Well, one of the major criticisms following the World Trade Center disaster response were the claims that many of the first responders had difficulty communicating because of incompatible communication devices. It's a problem that officials say they want to get solved once and for all. Adrian Hara reports. Since the tragedy of September 11th, many say inefficient radio communication between first responders during the initial rescue efforts led to many deaths. They say the problem is police officers, firefighters, and emergency medical service workers often use different communication systems. So experts gathered recently at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City to look for ways to increase homeland security by making sure all emergency responders are on the same wavelength and get the same information at the same time. Interoperable communication is the one thing, if we can get that also done, then people can be much more confident and much more calm and knowing that the government's doing all that can be done. One system proposed is a broadband network similar to the technology used in Blackberries, iPhones and other similar devices. It would allow a high volume of crucial information to be received by police officers and other respondents even before they get to the scene. To make sure that the cop that's responding to a place knows everything that he or she needs to know about that location before they get there and then have the tools to search those databases and pull whatever information they need to make decisions. Information like photos, fingerprints, facial recognition, and other details that the respondent should know before arriving at the emergency scene. That's all information that we want to make sure that the cop that's responding gets. That's what this is all about. Congressman King says the U.S. has made great progress in all other areas since 9-11 except for communications and the problem has been lingering for too long. He says he is pushing for the system to be up and running in time for the 10th anniversary of the tragic attacks. In Garden City, Adrian Hara, LI News Tonight.